Welcome to Cooking the Casbah. My name is Sabi. I take you on a culinary journey around the Mediterranean and the world. Today we're celebrating the holiday with some of my favorite kids here in town. Hello. We're making a special, special fondue for the holidays, kid friendly. And we're stuffing a Cornish hen. You guys ready? You like chicken, right? Yeah, yeah, I like chicken. And we're making a dessert that's a departure from the, uh, the apple things that you've ever seen on my cooking shows. We're stuffing the apples. So if you're ready, I know I am. And this is Joey, uh, Amino, uh, Rami, uh, Lizzie, Nicole, and Katie. So stay tuned, we're gonna start cooking with the kids. My name is Sabi. I have traveled the world, near and far, in search of exciting foods. Come with me on an epic journey of culinary adventures, right here on Cooking the Casbah. We're making fondue with the kids today. Welcome back. Uh, before we start fondueing, I see a lot of empty glasses. They're thirsty. So what I did today is I got some orange juice concentrate, and I have some cranberry. Who doesn't like cranberry juice? Might stand up now and say. No? Everybody likes it? Fantastic. I'm gonna add some soda water because I know how you kids love soda. But instead of uh, popping one open, we're mixing it up with some real fruit juice. You like that? Is that exciting? You ready? Yeah. So should I pass this around in a pitcher or you guys want to use a ladle? Um, a ladle. Yeah. I hear a ladle. Yeah. We're gonna make a mess, moms. The mom's in the studio. Uh, get, get your napkins out. And uh, it's pretty easy like that. You add the, the, uh, some of the ice. And I'm making kind of a punch. This is something that you add and you put in the middle of the table for a party. So I'm gonna trust you uh, kids in sharing this, right? Okay. And you go just like that, a little bit of ice. Isn't that fun, easy? And pass this around. When you're done, you give it back to me so I switch it to the other side. Okay. Fondue, what is fondue? It's some kind of a sauce you put on under a little light and or over a little light and you stick things in it. Sometimes they're raw and they cook in that little sauce. So starting with our sauce, I'm making some butter here. Melting some butter to make roux. And I'm adding, I'm adding some cream. But before we get into that stage, um, I brought some beef and some scallops. I know you kids have never had scallops, some of you. I have. You have. Fantastic. I have. You have. You have. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, these are, look, look how big these scallops are. Yeah. Huge. Humongous. Ooh, yeah. We're going to share this and I'm going to show you how to put them on skewers and make them look pretty. And this is some beef that I put some olive oil on it, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of black pepper. It's not hot. It looks like steak. It is steak. It's actually a filet mignon. Bright kids you, you brought to this. <laughs> I'm glad there is culinary interest already in here. Do the same. And when the butter melts, I'm gonna add the flour. And whisk it well. So, what is roux? I'm quizzing you guys. After the show today, there's a quiz. What is roux? Butter and flour. Tough questions. <laughs> <laughs> this is the butter and flour. A little heated. I'll add the... Uh, Cream, a little bit of milk, because I know cream is sometimes pretty thick. And about twice as much cream or milk to cream. And we mix this up, just like that. And uh, add a little bit of white pepper, a hint of garlic. I heard that you guys like garlic. So a little bit of garlic. And they, uh, what else should we put in there? Saffron. Saffron, you've heard of it, right? It's in Spanish cooking. It adds a nice color and nice flavor to the dish. And this is it, wasn't that fun? This is the sauce that once it boils, I'm gonna put it on this little fondue pot. And you've seen these in the stores, right? You've heard of fondue. It's a thing, it's something from the 70s that's coming back. I have a feeling that some of our audience may not have been around back in the 70s. And uh, turn on this heat. Remember, when you light something up, you should have the supervision of some adult in the house, someone that knows that you're about to set things on fire. Mm -hmm. So you get a permission, say, Mom, I'm gonna light my fondue pot. Is it possible for me to do my fondue pot? And I'm sure she'll say, if you let me try some of that stuff, I'll let you light it up. Mm -hmm. 
just like that. It's easy, it's fun, and it's fast. Now, what do we do with the meat? Stab it. Very good. <laughs> the answer was stab it. So, for you watching at home, before you stab the meat, let's talk about why I selected the following. This is fairly easy to cook, and it cooks fast. I want to make sure that it's cooked to the core. And if you cut the uh, scallops by hand, like that, you can stab them, as someone said, <laughs> and that would go in the sauce. Now, if you don't have one of these stabbies and you have a lot of people that are sharing the pot, what I would do is get something like this. This is a bambuski, or you can make shish kebabs in that, or something like that. And yeah, shish kebabs, you've heard of it. Meat on a stick, and we'll do that. Uh, here also the meat that I selected was a filet mignon, which is the very tender part of the beef. And like I said, this was marinated. So these two are ready to go. I want to wait for the temperature of the sauce to get up there. But once it does, we'll do this. There's a cover for that. How is the juice? Good, 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 good. You like? Thumbs up, fantastic. So I'm gonna try this in one of these. And I'm gonna pass this around for you guys to stab some meat. We're gonna stab some meat and take a little break. When we come back, we'll be enjoying some of this fondue and start with a delicious salad and a stuffed hen. Ready? Yeah. We'll be back. things I like about the co-op. That we shop here every week. I love the salad bar. It's always fresh and something good to eat. There are things in the deli that you won't find anywhere else. You can get anything here if they don't have it. You ask, but get it. It's shopping with my um, son. He, uh, he enjoys like loading up the bulk foods into the bags, although we do sp spill a few items on the floor. But The selection is really good. There's a lot of things I like about the co-op. It feels really like a part of the community that I want to support. Our children, we have so many hopes for them, but we don't always have the answers. Through the Agenda for Change, United Way is helping parents turn their hopes for their children into reality. By supporting parents, United Way knows more children will grow up feeling that they are full of promise, are safe, are loved. United Way of Dane County is creating real solutions for our children and our community, and that's what matters. To find out more, visit www.unitedwaydanecounty.org. So We're back cooking with kids. Some of them are my nephews. <laughs> Blood relation there. <laughs> They're denying it right now. We just made the fondue. We're waiting for the meat to cook. Remember, the core of the meat has to cook. So we're letting it sit and make sure that it'll have at least five to six minutes under our belt. But to begin with the main course, or wait, before the main course, who's, who's working on the salad? I was. <laughs> we're making a salad. We're making a festive holiday salad, and I know you guys love spinach, right? Yep, yep, yep. yep. That's just so surprising. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm making a special Mediterranean salad. We love sour, and what's going to give me sour is lemon juice, a hint of garlic, and I know that some of you alluded earlier that garlic is ew, too much, but we're going to use just a touch of garlic, not too much. And here I add the, uh, the lemon juice and the salt. Who has the salt? Thank you. So they, this they is one of the important ingredients. It is a very important, important ingredient in here. Oh. And we're gonna do this <gasps> and add the olive oil. Do you like mint? Yes. Oregano? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Who doesn't, right? Yeah. Now yeah. this is a classic Mediterranean salad. So you go around to, to Greece and, and uh, North Africa and West Mediterranean and like in Spain you'll find this traditional salad. They put a little bit of mint and I have some dried mint here. And I'm making sure everything stays easy, right? Easy and fun. And for the holidays, we got the green. I want something red. What do you guys recommend? Red cranberries. Pepper. Cranberries, that's good. What <laughs> red else? Pepper. Red pepper? Red pepper. Oh, red pepper. Tomatoes! Like tomatoes, look what I found. I have these lovely tomatoes right here. <laughs> and what I like about these tomatoes, we're going to put them on the salad hole, but they're definitely bite-sized. <laughs> You'll get to eat later. I'm, I'm doing the work here. <laughs> 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 
like that. And then um, pistachios to make it a little nutty. Who doesn't like pistachios here in the room? <laughs> Awfully quiet. I don't know what, I don't know what pistachios are. We'll They're that. good! Oh my God. That's what they are. And remember we were asking about this earlier. This is sun-dried fig. I want you to taste the plain one, just to, just so you see what it tastes like by itself. And this has been sun dried. They leave it on the I tree. Like oh yeah, this you know stuff. Do? It's pretty good, isn't it? So you ask an adult to use a sharp knife. So You're not uh, doing that yourself. And we're gonna put some kids. chopped figs on our lovely holiday salad. Looks like it needs a little more dressing. And there's our lovely salad. Before we dig in, and speaking of digging in, we're going to stuff the Cornish hen. I selected a Cornish hen because it's petite. It's, easy, it's a lot easier than most people think. And I thought the stuffing could be something exotic other than the traditional stuff or something. Stuffing, right? So we're going to make a couscous. This is Northwest African inspired stuffing. Here I have some chicken broth cooking. For the couscous, who has the couscous? This is but one product out there on the market. There are a lot of them. I'm using about a cup. Before I add the chicken broth to it, I want to add some white pepper. Very good. Who has the peas? They go on the broth. Who has the, we wanted something red. Who had the peppers? Beautiful, thank you. I'll put that in there. What else? We're going to save us for later. Cranberries. The cranberries. How could I have forgotten the cranberries? <laughs> and this is just to heat things up here in the sauce. Can you try these? These are pretty tasty. They're dry. Oh, 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 pass that around. No. Pass that around. Here, you one. You'll get your turn. We've been teaching cooking the kasba for a long time. The level of enthusiasm I see in this audience is amazing. How about the salt? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Rami. So now that everything cooks up in here, and this is pretty much ready, ready to stuff in the bird. Now, the couscous is pre-cooked. Are you guys paying attention to what I'm saying here? What's going on? There's like a slight conversation. <laughs> I can just see this. This is gonna be a long night. And I let the uh, couscous grain soak up the liquid, just like that. While the couscous is soaking up the juice, remember the, 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 uh, the broth and the peas? Isn't that colorful? Look how pretty this is. That's it's rainbow. Christmas. It's, it's rainbow. Christmassy. I, I like that. You said Christmas. I agree with you. <coughs> now, remember our friend the hen? This is like a baby chicken. And these are, you can buy them in the store ready, cleaned up, ready to go, ready to stuff and bake. I see that face. We're going we're gonna to eat this a little later. For now. <laughs> raw? No, we're going to cook it. No, no, that was the deal. <laughs> we're not going to eat it raw. But who wants to volunteer to stuff it? Nice, nice, very nice. We're going to stuff the bird. When we come back, we'll show you how we're going to bake it and possibly try some of that before we make dessert. <laughs> Наша семья боялась преследования по политическим убеждениям. No es el mismo, no desde la guerra. We're back. We met the Cornish hen, which was a cousin of the regular chicken, a little smaller. And we were able to make a special stuffing for the holiday with the kids here. 
and we had volunteers that wanted to stuff it. Everybody wants to stuff the hen. It's Since we are one. sampling one hen for the show, I'm going to pass this around. You do one spoon in the hen. But after that, we're going to wash our hands because chicken makes you sick if you eat it raw. So I'm okay. going to start with this. I'll show the, the, the viewers at home first oh, how nice. I would plan on doing this. Make sure there's nothing inside because sometimes they leave uh, uh, kidneys and giblets. That's what they call it. Things. So and chicken Make sure broth. it's clean inside. And what I did is I'm going to rub it with a little bit of olive oil. <laughs> Give it a little massage so it's not lonely. <laughs> and then a hint of salt. <laughs> and uh, how about how about something spicy? How about mint? Since we have the festival, not I put some something. Mint. Yeah, and this will make it nice and ready. So we're taking a spoon and doing just that. I want to fill it, but not overpack it because this stuff is gonna expand a little. So with that, we'll pass this around, and you guys can start doing that. I changed my mind. Okay, we have one mind <laughs> changed. <laughs> I don't want to go all the way back there and all the way back. Mm. Okay, so we have... How do you stop it? Go like that. Just like that. Oh. Okay, my Yeah. Remember, today we're, we're, it's all about learning. It's all about sharing the knowledge. And I'm glad to see the uh, young and up-and-coming uh, and uh, the culinary gurus of the next generation. Fantastic. Now, they're stuffing the chicken. I'm making a bed for the chicken so it doesn't get burnt on the bottom of this pan. Remember, and this is oven safe pan. This could be any shape, remember? You could do a oval, square, do a rectangular. Square. We do it any which Octagon. way we like. And now to prevent the food from coming out. Triangle. Remember how you guys stuffed it with the food? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take some of this skin around the stuffing and then put a toothpick in it. Why a toothpick? He so stabbed the chicken. It later <laughs> and he take stabbed it out. the chicken. And just like this, we are going to bake it. Where? Right here in my oven. You have an oven? I want to bake it down here for uh, about an hour at 350. I want to make sure that the core temperature reaches 180. Mom's at home. Remember, raw chicken, not good for later on in the day. How about dessert? While yeah. the chicken is baking, we're gonna make yeah. dessert. Of course, everybody had to wash their hands after touching chicken. That was a law. And whoever offered to help me, now I need your help in peeling these apples. Who's gonna peel the apple? Uh-oh. We're gonna do that one at a time. We'll do something else a little later on. But while she's peeling the apple, I wanna show the viewers at home and for you guys. How's it going? I wanna show you how to stabilize the apple so it doesn't fall Bravo. over when you put it in the... And then, uh, of course, a core, just like that. So I want you guys to try this a little later on. How about I pass this one apple next, next to you. What do we use? We need to Corey. do that. I'm taking, the, I'm taking the seeds out. Whoa, that was quick. Yeah, well, this is a pretty fancy tool. <laughs> I'm well trained. <laughs> I love working with kids, they're so impressed. <laughs> Easily. Just like that. So you can someone do this here on this side? Okay. Uh, the stuffing. For the stuffing, I'm using graham crackers. Just like that. Almonds, two kinds. Super can fine. Squish them? You want to squish them? Yeah. yeah. Alright. Here, your hands are clean, I bet. You promised. And then these are whole almonds. Or these are yeah, slivered almonds. Squishy. Now, almonds look like this, you guys. You've had almonds, right? Yeah. Everybody had almonds? And these are peeled, sliced, and then diced there. So here, have some almonds. And if you give me back that mixture, I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> so we're having a bit of a snack before we eat. We're not ready. Die! Oh, I think, I think we're ready. Where, where's the maple syrup? The seed will get out. It's stuck in there. All right. Bad seed. So we got, got almonds. 
Whole almonds. I hope that you viewers at home are as entertained as I. So this is basically the concoction that we came up with today. Back to viewers at home. Peeled, cored, uh, the stuffing um, of almonds, <laughs> maple shy. syrup, <laughs> graham crackers, stuff Ooh, like that. Yummy. The longer this stuff sits, the nicer it's going to look. You guys might want to try some of this before we put it on there. Okay. And there was a hint of cinnamon here. And this, I put a little bit more corn or um, simple syrup. Or maple. Maple syrup. And uh, thank you. The, the writers are here in the studio. So I rub it with the maple syrup. And this is something sticky you want to do over a table so your, the mess is contained to the kitchen. Right, Mom? Mom? Sure. You agree with that one? And notice I'm dipping it here in sugar in the raw, just like that. So this is what sugar in the raw. Sugar in the raw. So it's getting coated. And now, if you recall, we were talking about this earlier. We're going to put this here. And um, do you have enough to fill this up? Are you working on that? Um, we're going to fill this up <laughs> and bake it. When we come back, we're going to sample all the goodies that we just made. Of things to like about the co-op that we shop here every week. I love the salad bar. It's always fresh, and something good to eat. There are things in the deli that you won't find anywhere else. You can get anything here if they don't have it. You ask, but get it. It's shopping with my um, son. He uh, he enjoys like loading up the bulk foods into the bags. Although we do spill, spill a few items on the floor, but the selection is really good. There's a lot of things to like about the co-op. It feels really like a part of the community that I want to support. We're back. Time to enjoy our meal. You guys ready? The fondue is done. The Cornish hens, plump and juicy as ever. And the apples are just about to get ready. But I'm gonna show you here what the Cornish hens, of course, we used a bigger pot here. Ooh, ah, you guys like chicken? You're gonna love this. Now this is something that you only make two or three at home, right? You're gonna, not gonna make that many. And you take one of them out. Just like that. Come with me. <laughs> We're going on a journey, on a trip. I put some of the yams on the plate. You guys are gonna love the yams. And whatever extra stuffing I have. Is it that hot? Yes. Yeah. It's good. It's tasty. And what I about think the two people can share this. What about the toothpick? The toothpick is in the hen right here. I'm glad you, you reminded me. It. Rami, thank you. Remember, Rami asked about the toothpick. You take it out before you eat. And this is the lovely hen. Unless you die. Unless you die. Hen hen a Cornish hen for the holidays. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to share this. I pass this around. More of these. It smells good. I hope you guys like it. I like the scallops. Die. The scallops? Die, you like the die, scallops? Die. <laughs> Apples. All right, apples. He's dancing. Apples. apples. Of course I'm dancing. I love to dance. Why wouldn't I dance? This is my Cinnamon show. Cinnamon apples. Cinnamon apples. Ah. Smells good? Mm -hmm. You're going to love this stuff, you guys. Now remember, some of the apple juice comes out. <gasps> Look at these beautiful apples. And uh, the juice that comes out is mainly uh, the maple syrup, a little bit of apple juice, and Guess what? You can put a scoop of ice cream next to this. For yeah. home. But I want you to enjoy it just like this today to see what you think of our candied stuffed apples. And of course, the salad. You guys forgot about the salad. How could you? How could you forget about this beautiful salad? Look at this. <laughs> I 
Thank you for watching, and thank you kids for being a part of Cooking the Casbah Goes Kids. Katie, uh, Nicole, uh, Lizzie, and Joey, and Amin, and Rami. And thank you at home for watching Cooking the Casbah. These recipes and much more are on www.cookingthecasbah.com. And Merry Christmas to you all. What do you think? Pretty good?